this video covers the synthesis of atypic acid by conventional as well as a green method. Uh, please watch the video, subscribe my channel, like and share it to your friends so that the knowledge can share. The, the adipic acid is mainly used in the synthesis of uh, uh, nylon. It is an essential feedstock for making synthetic fibers such as uh, nylon. Now I will take how we synthesize the adipic acid using benzene by conventional method. Say so first the benzene is reduced to cyclohexane. In the first step the benzene is reduced to cyclohexane. Benzene reduced to cyclohexane. So for this reduction reaction, we use a catalyst called Raninakel. Uh, it helps for the reduction reaction to give cyclohexane. And this is cyclohexane on oxidation, so using a catalyst cobalt uh, forming uh, cyclohexanone and cyclohexanol. Further, the cyclohexanone uh, on under, undergo oxidation in the presence of nitric acid gives uh, adipic acid. So I will show you how we carry this process. So we will take benzene. The benzene is a feedstock, a precursor used. Uh, benzene on reduction in the presence of a catalyst Rani nickel that is a uh, 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 hydrogen reduction process nickel with the Al2O3. It produces uh, cyclohexane. This is cyclohexane undergo oxidation in the presence of uh, oxidation in the presence of cobalt catalyst. Produces the two compound. The one is cyclohexanone another one is cyclohexanol the percentage of cyclohexanol hexanol is very less so high percentage of cyclohexanone is produced the further this cyclohexanone undergo oxidation in the presence of nitric acid hno3 the strong oxidizing agent forming adipic acid. It forms adipic acid. Along with this, we will observe dinitrogen oxide. Dinitrogen oxide. This is a adipic acid and dinitrogen oxide. It is a harmful gas. Uh, so, it uh, leads to an environmental pollution. This is a benzene. So, so benzene undergo reduction in the presence of nickel forming cyclohexanone on oxidation giving cyclohexanone and cyclohexanol. Cyclohexanone further undergo oxidation to produce adipic acid. See, this is a systematic way I wrote. So, benzene uh, in the presence of ni uh, uh, run nickel produce cyclohexane. In the presence of uh, cobalt catalyst undergo oxidation producing a mixture of cyclohexanone and cyclohexanol. The cyclohexanone further react with the undergo oxidation produce adipic acid with the formation of dinitrogen oxide. Here, the dinitrogen oxide is uh, or nitrous oxide is a, a byproduct, is a, is a greenhouse gas. And uh, starting material what we use is a, a benzene which is a carcinogenic in nature. The synthesis has some risk and hazardous like oxidation of cyclohexane with air may lead to uncontrolled reaction. Here in the second step we use oxygen so it may lead to an uncontrolled reaction. It is thus having some risk. Also the disposal of heavy metals to the environment, recovery of all the cobalt is not possible. These are the difficulties we observe under a, a conventional method. For that purpose, we use a green method to synthesize uh, adipic acid using uh, Escherichia coli 
bacteria. So here we'll take a glucose which is treated with a, a bacteria E. coli to produce 3-hydrocecamate. Uh, the 3-hydrocecamate is further reacted with the E. coli produces cis meconoic acid. The formed product meconoic acid further undergo reduction in the presence of platinum, uh, platinum uh, producing adipic acid. Here we use a glucose as a precursor and Escherichia coli, Escherichia coli bacteria two times we will use. Uh, so two reaction in the two in the two step reaction. So the Escherichia coli itself act as a uh, reactant component and help for the conversion from glucose to meconoic acid. Further, meconoic acid is subjected to um, reduction process to get adipic acids. So systematically we can write this one. So we will take glucose molecule. Glucose is subjected to a fermentation. So OH. Here also it is a below the plane OH. And here the OH group is above the plane OH. Then here it is OH group. Then CH2 OH2 OH. CH2. And here the molecule is oxygen, not carbon. Then Escherichia E. coli bacteria, E. coli bacteria help to convert this glucose into 3 hydroxycamate uh, component. And even it is called as a 3 hydroxycaminic acid. It is also called as an acid because here the hydroxy group is converted into COOH group. Okay, so cicamic. Acid. It's also called as a 3 hydroxy secamate, uh, sorry, dehydroxy hydro secamate. Also, it is called as a 3 dehydroxy hydro secamic acid. Also, called it as this way. Okay. So, it produces OH group and here also a OH group. Okay. Then further it uh, react with E. coli, produce uh, meconoic acid, a double bonded compound, ring opening reaction take place, double bonded compound, then further reduction with the help of platinum catalyst so producing adipic acid. C -O -O -H. Acid. So here uh, the starting material used is a glucose. Uh, it is a, 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 a environmentally friendly component. E. coli is used as a catalyst in two steps uh, of the reaction. It reduces uh, use of certain chemical reagent, significantly toxicity get reduced and no byproduct is generated during the synthesis. We can observe the systematic way, say the glucose uh, uh, with the help of E. coli, it forms a dehydrocecamate uh, compound and further it undergo a uh, reaction to forming meconoic acid that is a uh, glucose which is treated with the Escherichia coli bacteria to produce 3 hydrocecamate compound. Then further 3 dehydrocecamate undergo reaction with the E. coli forming meconoic acid. This is meconoic acid. Further it undergo reduction forming adipic acid. This way we can able to or did, uh, we can able to get uh, adipic acid which is the main uh, material to synthesize uh, um, uh, nylon or nylon 6-6, uh, uh, fiber nylon 6-6. Thank you.